channel and welcome back to Iratus. So, we managed to take out all the dwarves in their tunnels. And we can have a team ready, but uh, my main team... Oh, well, actually, I, I don't even know what my main team is at this point. Uh, it's just uh, a total mess. It wouldn't be too bad to have, like, two teams. But it just it doesn't work. It just doesn't work because the minions have to chill at home just to get the most resources. And uh, we're healing because, uh, yeah, I mean, we had a pretty tough fight last time. And there's no way to reset the characters, so I, I need to build them in a more versatile way as well. Uh, Battle Squad 1, you guys gonna leave this place. And we're gonna head to... As the dwarves fell before the onslaught of the Walking Dead, news of the crisis started to spread far and wide. <laughs> the human kingdom was rich and willing to pay gold uh, uncountable to whomever could manage to bring them the head of the newly vacant uh, necromancer. They would all gather here, in these barracks, cunning rogues and learned mages, knights and elven rangers, all following the siren call of coin. They knew not of the true scope of danger that awaited them. In the end, they were just lambs getting before the slaughter. Ah, uh, that's quite cocky. Now, what? How do they know that I am a necromancer? I mean, why not just assume that some zombies, you know, are just uh, in the caverns? That's it. I mean, there's nothing else to it. I should just look the paths. Look at the paths. Oh my god, this, this doesn't look so good. Uh, let's go for abundant harvest and hit everybody. Won't say it kind of makes sense. Oh, missed. Actually, that's one thing that I, I kind of regret. I should have built him. The headhunter. As... Uh, as someone who can actually, uh, you know, has more accuracy because his base accuracy is kind of low. 85. It's not terrible, but as long as we like add in a little bit of evasion, then it's already like even 20%, like then it's 65. Yeah, that kind of matters. Let's slide back. We can go with Bloodthirst. But apparently it's a free action. Is it? Yeah, it is. Now we can deal 30 damage. Vampire loses, uh, yeah, we can game rats if you want to. That's not bad. All attacks against the target ignore both, uh, Vampire loses, uh, 10 vigor. We can drop someone by 50%. HP. But it's not the best time to do that. Uh, just a uh, regular attack. The crossbowman, I think. Savor these last few heartbeats. Okay. Well, by the Viratus, it would be better if you were not there. Holy shit, that's bad. Oh. Oh yeah. We need him there. So, Bounty, we can go in the full front, we can deal a crap ton of damage with the ultimate. We also have access to other spells, Hail of Thief, I don't know. Um, well, where is it? Mocking Slap is the best here. I just hit everybody. And he will not burn to the death. We can go for a hit everybody move. I, I think that's pretty sensible here. Oh, actually we can do that with the Dark Knight. Let's do that. Well, we can only really make sure that one of them escape. Dark Knight is gonna shout at them. That's good enough. Uh, yeah, we're missing some HP. That's that's fine. Uh, just hit this guy. Pretty good heals. We don't know if they're gonna run away. 
sends him. So we can do a Warpool Slash, hitting two two guys. Intimidating Rage. Sends him. Now let's just go with Warpool Slash. Yeah, missing is a problem. Let's take out one guy. Will he die? Please burn to death. There's a chance that he will. A pretty okay chance. Uh, okay. Let's just let's just do a uh, life steal. Won't he run away? We need to make him scared. Stress him out, and also make him a vampire. Doesn't he want to run away? Come on, run away. Let's make him scared. Scared looks good. So he has debuffs on him. Uh, we can do Hollow Strike, or maybe just get mana. I think mana is better. Although it would be nice to have an ability that also stresses him out. I want him to run away. Yeah, he's, he's not really running away just yet. So we have full HP, yeah. 105. Uh, I don't know what to do. Well, we can hit him, but... Wait. Game. Invalid target. What? Why doesn't it work? I was like, is my keyboard somehow disabled, but I somehow can't select V? What do you mean? Oh yeah, fuck yeah, he's on the first position. We cannot do the returning strike. God, let's just wait. Will he run away? Come on, run away, mate. What am I supposed to do? I need health. I mean... <laughs> I can't bite him. God damn it. So, we have no ability that doesn't cost us health. We can do all specs. It cost me HP. Let's stress him out. Come on. Please run away. Why are you not running away? That makes no sense. I don't wanna... <laughs> oh my god, no. Please, run away. I don't wanna kill you. We can do a bite, which is uh, better than the returning strike. Actually, it's identical to the returning strike. It's actually a little better if you upgrade it. No, he's not running away at all. He doesn't want to run away at all. Okay, like, we gotta kill him. Another step towards my eternal Yeah, kingdom. hex bomb. I imagine it just uh, hexes them. Uh, okay. I want more vampires. Who can we? Okay, maybe that guy couldn't be made a vampire. Wait, what? These are fully healed? How? So this can be in the back. This should be over there. But that's position uh, one anyway. We can use a Bride of Iratus. And we can use a skeleton, that's fine. Unfortunately, there's just nothing to do in the town. We need uh, more vampires to do something. So creation is kind of pointless. Unless we just want to up the, up the parts of certain units. But it's not super important right now. Yeah, I think their chance to escape could be interesting. Alchemy.
Yeah, let's just keep going. I don't know. I'm not sure how the running away works. Also, we got to keep in mind, like, how many, how long of a path we're going to take here. So it's going to be one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my god, I don't want to count this shit. Well, I guess we gotta survive. But the game does tend to reward you for taking the long path. But it's... Do you really want to fucking count? How, which is the longer path? I mean, this is pretty obvious. Like, usually taking the... The path that goes on the edge is a safe bet for a longer one. Or at least shouldn't be shorter. But in this case, I'm not convinced because this one is like a 3, 5, uh, 10. At 16 length. And over this side, it's. Uh, it's actually shorter. It's only 14. So the left is better. And I'm pretty sure that this is just, uh, again, gonna be shorter. Uh, we can go that way. I mean, f that's 15 length. And this way, oh, I kind of forgot how long this was. It's only 13 length. So, I mean, seems like the best uh, road is just simply taking... That's pretty good. So, this is a pretty good one. And we have two quests. Well, that could be interesting. We can take this path. Uh, go over here. Sacrificial lot are not super keen on that. Of course, you also have to consider what encounters you're gonna have. That matters too. We gotta fight the least squad here. You may not want to do that. I mean, we don't have much of a choice because we fight the least squad here as well. If you want to avoid those, actually we can't. <laughs> I don't know. There, there are more quest thingies here, so let's head that way. Uh, squad 1 will do it. Go. You guys got this. All minions and enemies gain 10 evasion until the battle ends. That's not great news. Each time Iratus uses a destruction spell, he deals physical damage to a random enemy. That seems pretty good because I'm spamming destruction spells all the time. All minions gain 10 accuracy and 10 damage onto the battle lands. This effect is removed when a minion takes damage. But only 10% damage. I mean, this is okay. I think the Spike Bracers is pretty All damn good. For my future kingdom. Let's see. So, artifacts, Spike Bracers instead of the... Yeah, they take stress damage. And that's not how I kind of win the fights now. Each time I have to use a spell, so this is very generic. Like, it works with every kind of spell, but I'm just spamming destruction spells. We can game with, uh, we can go with, uh, some XP. Minions and enemies gain minus 15 accuracy until the battle ends. Ah, that's... I mean, this might be okay if you have really high accuracy minions. The problem with this is that it doesn't really help you win the fight. I mean, this might help you win the fight. I, I, that's why I'm using it. Uh, it's consumables, rings. Uh, they go there. I mean, okay, fine. No, that's crap. Yeah, if the menu made up for four uncommon parts or more, gain additional 20 vigor during your belt. That's really good. I have this gains 10% chance to stun enemies, uh, damages with destruction spells. Okay. I mean, I, I like this more, but we don't have it really available. Not yet. What's better? Getting uh, one ward or a free armor? <laughs> They're both good. All right, let's just go. Uh, team one is gonna handle these uh, suckers. They're stealthing. Ah. Uh. 
Ah, oh, good question. I might just buff the guy. You're strong, mate. Oh, no. Oh, he's immune. You had a block. Uh, what am I doing here? Every time I cast a destruction spell, they take more damage. Which is the cheap destruction spell here? Maybe I'm gonna set them on fire. Uh, what are we doing? So, they have good damage. They have a pretty low, well, like, lower stress tolerance than HP. I, I'm kind of looking for another vampire here. Okay, let's go for lifesteal. We can gain 50 rats. Or just deal 30 damage. Okay, we can do a blood, bloody rose. I don't know if this is worth it because it's 17 damage on all the guys, and uh, well, it's gonna be actually a double of that. So I mean, it's it's okay, it's okay. Impale this wreck. This will be your armor absorb. Sure. So we can boost the knight. So he's even tankier. Oh, I'll just keep attacking in the back. Why not? Invalid target. Oh yeah, we can't attack the one in the front. It's a little annoying. So... It would be nice to know if some of them are, are running away. But for that, we need to do stress damage. He might die. No, he's not dying yet. He's dying now. This guy too sucks. Alright, let's take out this guy. No! Apparently not for him. One less annoyance in the world. Come on, you're on your own, mate, rogue. Don't you want to run away? Oh, this allows us to. Oh, that's. I should use this more, just to reposition. Not because I care about it. I don't know about that. I don't really want to deal damage to him. Can we just stress him out? I just gave mana. I'm not the best with stress. Yeah. We can't physical attack him that way. Be destined to die. But he's not running away. Come on, mate, run away. Come on, you have no HP, and you're also a little scared. Don't you want to run away? Oh, that's that's good. Let's stress him out. That's not good. Chance to flee increases by 20% each turn. I don't think I can do it. Well, we can shot at him. What? Oh. 
I don't think he's gonna. No, there's just no way. I need more stress damage to get some vampires. Well, that looks pretty good. Is that like a better damage reduction? Okay. So we got the vampire here. And we have the choice of getting uh, even more lifesteal. Or... The same amount of lifesteal. But crit hits deal more damage. But this also gives us damage, so... Like, this seems like a no-brainer here. And also I want to go for a uh, bite. Maybe like uh, luck or whatever. Stun the target or just deal chance based crit damage. I mean, that's good too. Okay, let's see what we got. So, we found more ga more artifacts for the main guy, I think. What? Minions have 5 armor until the battle ends and have 15% chance to miss their turn? That's just stupid. No, that's bad. I mean, ribcage armor is just better than that. Uh, we can also use a consumable, but let's just see what is uh, up next. So these don't have to be in here. We should level up. The mummy is gonna go to a 5. These are getting close to a, a, a 6. I guess we're gonna use these, but... The, the reason the Banshees are parked in there is because I just I just don't find any use for them. I wouldn't mind putting in a, a guy that like stresses people out. Because at this point, I'm not really doing that at all. Skullfall. That's what I want to pick up. I think that's going to be pretty damn useful. Ancient coffin filled with items. Alright, let's go. So we got... Magical damage is reduced by 22.5%. Uh, this is not bad, but it's... <sighs> well, luck. I mean... If you could give that to the vampire and go for, like, crit chance based... Even that would, wouldn't be that great. This dark, dark knight is basically so tanky that he doesn't need these items. But do we need the, the luck, lucky golden tooth? Maybe? Like, there's nothing wrong with the steel spikes, though. I think that's uh, gotta be pretty damn good. No, I don't think we need it. Do I need me up that much? Okay, let's go with the golden tooth. But do I give it to the vampire? We have a... Uh, we have this. Savage Bite. She likes to use uh, the Flames of Passion and Love instead. If you get to the front, we can just keep spamming the Savage Bite. And we would have a uh, 28% crit chance. Maybe even more if we get some good parts. And that would, yeah, would help us to stay alive for pretty long. And it seems like the Vampire is, is pretty good at that. So, yeah, I mean... If I can have someone who's not gonna die... No... Then that's a good investment. Yeah, we can't really upgrade this, or at least not in a significant way. Actually, kind of getting to the point where I, I can consider just combining parts. I should probably do that a bit more now. But let's just uh, go for an, a fight. Yeah, I mean, this is fine. Even though I don't want stress damage, I think we, I need some stress damage just to be able to get some vampires. Yeah, I can shout at them, but I don't really want to. Impale this wretch. Okay. 
Make the Dark Knights invincible. The crossbowman is the tankiest. I mean, uh, the the most dangerous one here. Yeah, uh, let's just go with the uh, bloodthirst. Should she be in the back? Actually, her position is like can be anywhere. You can just go for a regular attack here. 35 average damage uh, from the back position. <laughs> Pretty good. She's gonna be the best next turn. I mean, uh, next level. Sure. Okay, let's go in for the side. What? Protect stance? Oh, that hurts. Wait, what? That pierced the, the block. What dick move? Okay. Let me just uh, impale him. Within flames. Let's keep boosting this guy. Hmm, this might be enough. No, what? Redirecting everything? Oh. Oh, right. He's getting protected. What a bastard. I just hit everybody. Kill, my darling, kill. There's not much I can do here. We can go for a big old hit. But he's gonna re redirect this. No? No. Sneaky attack. Ah, that hurts. Bride of Iratus is going to need a timeout. He's not burning to death right now. He's still getting protected. Do I just keep buffing? I mean, this smite of the offshores is just not that good. Hmm, can I hit the guy in the back? Oh, he has evasion now. Maybe not. Oh, this would also... Resist the damage. And now we have the lifesteal. Physical damage to the same targets. Wow, look at him! Look at her, I mean, what the fuck? She has insane defenses. So I should... Can I ignore her? Let's... Go with a uh, hail of teeth on this one. There's no sun up in the sky. Just the proc. Oh yeah, let's hit everybody. My kingdom comes. Okay. 36 damage. Still protecting the dude. We can't do jack shit with the skeleton. <laughs> He's only good for protection. God damn it. This damage is so low. His best ability is like endless mediocrity. I don't know. What am I supposed to do here? He's low damage. He's a buffer. He, the skeleton is a support. God damn it. Okay, let's do uh, this something wrench. like that. And no, this is not. This won't work because uh, the crossbowman has armor. Fuck, I was wrong. And the unassuming strike doesn't work. It wouldn't be enough anyway. This is useless. Oh my god. Okay, you die a little bit slower. 
Uh, just kill the crossbow man. As worthless as you were in life, you will be worth something in death. Oh, wood red wrecked. You seem to be in uh, a bit of a trouble. All attacks against the target ignore both block and ward until the battle ends. But that doesn't really help the other uh, members of the party. She's so damn tanky. The Bounty Hunter has an ability. Well, we can actually interact, uh, interrupt stances with the skeleton. That would be really good, but... God damn it. Can I kill this guy with the Mocking Slap? Okay, so only interrupt stances. Uh, can you just go back? So, she doesn't have a stance right now. She doesn't want to run away. Let's go for like a regular... No, 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 that, that would do nothing. Let's boost the... the by the Viratus. Just gotta make sure that she doesn't die. <laughs> Good luck. 25 armor. Don't you want to run away? Now that's gonna leave a mark. Interrupt stances. Uh, the question is like, does stun also interrupt stances? Because there's an upgrade to this uh, ability that makes it a stun instead. The skeleton is a support, goddammit. I thought he was like a damage dealer at the start of the game, but he's totally a support. We can't even attack. <laughs> Does nothing. Ah, uh, okay. He doesn't want to run away, she. Ah! Yep, dead. Ah! <laughs> okay. I mean, it's a pretty good choice for a long fight. Makes the uh, the death knight invincible. At the start of combat, all enemies lose one block. Sure. So we can go into the graveyard. It's not... Not ready yet. We can check out the mummy. Deals... I mean, not even great stress damage to one target. And, uh... Yeah, th this is really good if he dropped the uh, lock of the target. I, I guess... Target loses 10 luck until the bell lands, so we can just stack negative luck on the target. Either with uh, Savage Wraps or Agile Wraps. And uh, just stress skill him, but in order to do that, we need to drop his luck and his sanity. And yeah. So, but this is not a luck... Like, this reduces the lock, but only the ha HP, not, not the sanity. What do we got here? Uh, additionally, deals one stress damage for each point of negative luck the target has, extends all debuffs afflicting enemies by two turns, except stun effects. Of course, that makes sense. So it's not a, like a crazy expensive ultimate. But, okay, fine. Deals two stress damage for each point of negative uh, lock the target has. That doesn't really matter, because what you want to do is like, that matters a little bit. 
But actually, this is better. Because you have plus, plus 6 higher initial stress attack. And you can just uh, spam one stress damage on the target. That's the whole point. That you just make him have a heart attack. I don't know. Still, it's like, do we want really want to? This is just used as a backline physical damage attacker, but actually it's terrible for that. Terrible. The the vampire is is in a whole different league. I mean, this would be the F tier compared to the vampire. If we just want physical attack. Look at this. It's like a 25 a damage with like 10 luck on the target and like a pull. Okay, I understand this is like a combo move, but I don't know. I guess this is like a stressor zombie. This gives us uh, stress and this gives us uh, initiative. Both kind of useful. But like four turns, like four turns is quite long. Perfection takes time and proper. That's the, that's the problem. Four turns is a lot. So I don't know. Feels extra stress damage if the mummy has a debuff, but we're not really putting debuffs on ourselves, right? Are we? I think the mummy has to be a uh, a stress attacker, but it's just so weird. Extends all debuffs afflicting enemies by two turns, except stun effects. Uh, we can go with a, a turn to misfortune here. But uh, yeah, she goes there. I don't know. What about the skeleton? Here they have that. What am I supposed to go for here? Interrupt stances, which I value so much. And the difference here is that it deals slightly higher physical damage. That's almost pointless. And stuns the target for one turn. I mean, I love this, but... Does it also interrupt the stance? Because you would think that stun actually interrupts the stance, but if we actually give up the interrupt the stance uh, feature for stun instead, I don't know. I mean, that might not be worth it. We can gain some extra attack. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I mean, I think that might be... This might be a better one, because the, the, the skeleton is just completely useless. When it comes to tanking, uh, we can use the Standing Fortitude, Mystic Fortitude, whatever. We can stress people out with the Unnerving un uh, Fortitude. I mean, that might be okay, you know? We can use him as a stressor. But then we would have to commit to... Like a... A stress-based build. And I didn't quite do that. I don't know. I don't know. But then... I don't know. I have no idea. <sighs> I don't know, Zomb. I, I guess we can go for stun. Now, prove yourself but uh, the skeleton might just uh, go for a timeout. We have the Dark Knight. And the problem with this big Dark Knight is that it's just maxed out now. So, I don't really want to take it with me. We might just take this level 3 Dark Knight. We got this mummy, but it's useless. We got the Headhunter, we can take him back. And maybe play it like this, I don't know. That That's gonna be an okay team, I know. But we need vampires. Humanarium. This is all the humans we met! And apparently there are a lot more fucking humans. I met barely anybody. Oh, we got the talents. We got the Skullfall Destruction. I don't think I'm gonna use it like all the time, but we might use it like, you know, from time to time. Let's go to the dungeon. Um, a grave? 
Okay, let's get a guy. Team one, you, you got this. I don't like the mummy, I don't like the banshee, but we got two super banshees and I got a shit ton of zombies. But the zombies might be the best. I don't know. I think it's a toss up between the zombie and the and the mummy, but I don't want either of them. I want the vampire, okay? <laughs> but we can't get one. All right, we gotta choose. Uh, I have no idea. I still have no idea. I kind of like. Uh, I might want to go with the zombie here. Let's go with the zombie. But also, it's always like a tier one total trash uh, minion. N nothing ever better. I mean, that's a little disappointing because I would like to find a little better minions. Anyway, guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching again. See you next time.